go, here we go. It's your man, Kirk State. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, you know I use Serato Studio and all of that, right? And one of the friends, one of the beat generals in the comments on one of my videos said, how do you connect the Akai MPK Mini to Serato Studio? Now, actually, it's very simple. All you have to do, once you open up Serato Studio, right? You go over here, hit the little gear icon, bam. Select MIDI, and it should pop up once it's already plugged in. Now, what you want to do is always plug this in first, right? You got this right here. You plug it in. And then it should pop up. Bam. See right there? Now what watch when I unplug it. No connected devices, right? You take this, plug it in. Bam. MPK Mini MK2. Alright. Go ahead and exit out. Go ahead and assign a drum program or whatever it is you have. And you should be good to go. So yeah, man, this is a quick, quick video on how to connect a MIDI device, the MPK, Akai MPK Mini, right? Mini to Serato Studio. It's real simple. You know what I'm saying? And it works flawlessly, you know what I mean? Can't hear it because I don't have the audio plugged up, but yeah. So that's it, man. USB, right, to this. And this is an older MacBook Air that I'd use just for um, Serato Studio, um, Serato DJ, what I use with the mini controllers, right, such as this. So yeah, man, it's real simple. Plug and play. It's your man, Kirk State, with a real simple video. Um, if you got any other questions, man, just let me know, man. Um, some stuff is real simple. Uh, next, coming up, I'm going to show you how to connect the turntable, the 1200, to the MPC. You know what I'm saying? The Kai Professional. All right.